Hello friends, happy Wednesday. No name basket pipe. No name tobacco. Uh, it's a cloudy day today. You'll get to see that in a bit. I can't film where I'm at. I also can't smoke where I'm at. But we choose our uh, choose our poisons, and uh, I figure they won't fire me for smoking, but they will fire me for filming. So we won't have the outside camera working. And we'll go with the charring light until we get out. That seems fair. So, I hope you're all enjoying your week. Mine is turning out a bit odd. Due to the... Um, I don't even know what to call it anymore. The name's changed again. The SAR-COV-2 <laughs> pandemic, uh, COVID-19, coronavirus, whatever you want to call it, uh, it has been decided that we should not go to work unless we absolutely have to. So I, and I'm, I'm fortunate because I can do a lot of my work remotely. That's odd. No, I think we're okay. Um, yeah, I can do a lot of my work remotely, so this works out just fine for me. So I worked at home until noon today, and then I came in for a few hours for things that I, where I actually had to be physically present. And now I'm leaving, it's about 4.30. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think I'll edit that out. So, let's get this really going now. Interesting times all over the place, huh? We've got world going crazy over what's probably going to amount to being a flu. <sighs> Talking about having an empty ballpark for opening day here. By the way, the reason that we're being so over vigilant here is that uh, in the county that I live in, there were I think eight or nine cases now confirmed of uh, COVID-19. The um, the actual uh, no 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 I'm sorry, SAR-COV-2, which is the viral infection. So you don't get COVID-19 until you have the respiratory syndrome, uh, which is the thing that people are really worried about. But very few people actually get that. Anyway, that's why we're being hyper vigilant. Is that there have been eight or nine cases. Uh, confirmed infections in the county that I live in and not working as well. And you know, it's it's interesting because I'm not a news junkie. I used to be, you know, I used to be really into politics. Now I've gotten to the point where I don't, you know, I, I got to keep informed and, and, you know, certainly do my 
my best to stay informed, but I'm not going to watch, you know, CNN or Fox News or any of those programs. I just don't want that intruding into my world. And I've been thinking a lot about that in relation to something else, and you might find the connection here to be tenuous at best, but I've been thinking about the, you know, some of the recent happenings in our pipe community here on YouTube, the, um, yeah, folks use the term drama, I don't like that, because I think it raises it to a level that it shouldn't have. Basically, there's been some people behaving poorly. A few, very, very small minority of folks. And this has led to people reacting, which has led to other people reacting, which, you know, and it, it just turns into a big thing. And this happens. It happens. And you could probably, in fact, I think I'm going to start keeping track because I bet you there's a cyclical nature to it. It just happens. And the thing that I've learned is that the best thing to do is just to sort of ride that wave and let it come back down and everything will be fine. And sometimes that's hard to do. You know, sometimes you see something happening, not just on YouTube, but in all walks of life, where you say, gee, that ain't right. I got to do something about that. And you want to speak up? You want to try to correct the wrong, right the wrong? It never works. What we're dealing with in this particular set of happenings, and I'm not going to justify any of it by even talking about the topic, and certainly not going to name the names, because these people are insignificant. But you've got this, you know, small group of people, not, not presenters, not contributors to the community in any significant way, that have sort of, for whatever reason mustered around one particular individual who's a known moron that, you know, I blocked years ago. And they're causing trouble. And guys, the wonderful thing about YouTube, and this is where I'm going to get back to CNN and Fox and all that stuff. The wonderful thing about YouTube is, and, and about our YTPC, is that we decide what the community is. We decide what our YouTube life is. We decide what this, this bubble that we're inside of, and, and we choose to be inside of, looks like. And that's generally true. So we all subscribe to different channels, and, and you know, folks that subscribe to my channel might not subscribe to Eric Blue Collar Pipe Smoker, just to pick on someone that I know won't mind me picking on them. And guys that subscribe to his channel might not subscribe to mine. And there's going to be some overlap, of course, but there might be people that absolutely hate watching me but love watching Eric, and that's okay. They subscribe to Eric, they don't subscribe to me. There might be people that really love watching Eric and sometimes enjoy me. So they subscribe to us both, and when they see my videos come up, maybe they click on them, maybe they don't. But they'll, you know, stop what they're doing to watch Eric. Again, I'm just picking on Eric. Nobody stops what they're doing to watch Eric. So this is this is kind of the way we we build, not build, we shape the community experience that we all have. And it's unique for each and every one of us. And that's a good thing because it's this is a comfortable place. This is a place we go to to relax, to enjoy our pipes, to to have some fun with friends. So what do we do with these bad actors? What do you do with this, these 
ridiculous children that are coming in to our house and messing it up. Well, we can't throw them out because the truth is the YTPC is just something we made up. You know, it's just a, it's an artificial construct like anything else. It's not really a community, it's a loose association, but it's a loose association of good people. And that's important. So what do we do? Well, these trolls, these people sitting in their parents' basements, hiding behind keyboards, trying to make other people miserable at, in order to feel a bit better about them, their own miserable existence. There is one way to hurt them that hurts more than anything you can do. More than any VR you can make, more than any comment you can type, more than any live stream chat rant that you can go on. There's one thing you can do that is going to hurt these people more than anything else. And that's ignore them. Don't feed the trolls. Block them. You see their comment pop up on your channel? Block them. You see a video that you don't like? Unsubscribe. Hide them from your channel if, if you uh, if you are a content producer. Basically, let's just make them not exist in our community. It's that simple. And that'll kill them. <laughs> and it's what they deserve. And you can go a step further. You can support the people that are on the uh, other end of the stick, if you will. You know, they, they've attacked some folks support those folks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, by the way, count yourself lucky. But keep in mind what I'm saying for because this is going to happen again. It, it will happen. It's just the nature of uh, YouTube. Maybe it's the nature of man. I don't know. So, as much as you ignore the bad actors, support the good actors. Give them a thumbs up. Give them a, give them a kind comment. Let them know you're watching. And if you're someone that is making videos, if you are a content creator, do something to compensate for this. Make some good content. Have a, have a positive chat. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about the, the drama. Talk about something positive. Anything. You know, tell a story. Because that's going to strengthen our community much, much more effectively than ranting about the bad stuff. And again, it's going to hurt them. It's probably the second best way to hurt them. The first best is to ignore them. The second best is to show them that you're happy and thriving. I know it's not necessarily the call to war that people want to hear right now. But, you know, guys, sometimes... Sometimes choosing sides is not productive. I learned something many years ago from the late great William F. Buckley. If you don't know who William F. Buckley was, look him up. He was a fascinating guy. He was visiting the University of Pittsburgh and he gave a talk at the university that was and I loved this title. It's it stuck with me all this time. It was titled "Counterpoints on Current Contentions," and, and only Buckley could have put together a title like that. And what he was saying was that 
at least part of what he was saying, was that often there appear to be two sides. And, and the two sides can be very polarizing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an example up on the spot here. Um, okay. Donald Trump is the best president that we've had since Ronald Reagan. That's one point of view. Donald Trump is the devil himself and needs to be removed from office. That's the other point of view. And we seem to be polarized across these two. Well, what about the counterpoint to that? What about, like all politicians, he's a flawed man? But let's try to work with him to see if we can move the country forward. It's, it's a reasonable position to have that nobody seems to be taking. And very often in life, not just in politics, that is the case. You know, does... Boy, I hate to even make up an example because I'm going to be fingering someone, but... Um, okay. He said that if you don't smoke cherry tobacco, you're not a real pipe smoker. Boy, that's so ridiculous, I might not be able to do it. So there's going to be people that agree with that, and there's going to be people that say, well, that's ridiculous, I don't smoke cherry, to pipe, cherry pipe tobacco, and I'm a pipe smoker. But maybe you can find somewhere in the middle where you can say, you know what, cherry pipe smokers, cherry tobacco smokers, it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Cherry tobacco pipe smokers are folks that really like their cherry tobacco and they consider that the ultimate pipe smoking experience but there are other folks that don't agree with that and the beauty of pipe smoking is that we can disagree on these things and learn from one another uh, and, and find new flavors that we may have never chosen on our own it wasn't the best example but I think you get the idea the illusion of polarization, the, the, the idea that there's always two sides and you have to choose one, is a dangerous one because it can actually, and it often does, lead to a situation where you're lined up ready to go into battle and you realize that you don't actually agree with the side you're on. So let's try to stay positive, grow the community support one another, support our friends, and ignore the idiots that are just trying to tear us down. That's all I got for today, folks. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you Friday night. Uncle Phil from Uncle Phil's Cellar is going to be my guest, so Friday night, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Hope to see you there. Take care, all.